me understand the math. How many Palestinians have to die for their lives to matter? Life under apartheid strips Palestinians of their human dignity. How would you feel if you had to go through dehumanizing checkpoints two blocks from your own home to go to the doctor or travel across your own land? Meanwhile, Palestinians' rights to nonviolent resistance have been curtailed and even criminalized. Our party leaders have spoken forcefully against BDS, calling its proponents anti-Semitic, despite the same tactics being critically critical to ending the South African apartheid mere decades ago. What we are telling Palestinians fighting apartheid is the same thing being told to my black neighbors and Americans throughout that are fighting against police brutality here. There is no form of acceptable resistance to state violence. As long as the message from Washington is that our military support for Israel is unconditional, Netanyahu's extremism, right-wing government will continue to expand settlements, continue to demolish homes, and continue to make the prospects for peace impossible. 330 of my own colleagues, and Democrats and Republicans here, 75% of the body here, signed a letter pledging that Israel shall never be made made to comply with basic human rights laws that other countries that receive our military aid must observe. I want to read something a mother named Iman in Gaza wrote two days ago. She said, quote, tonight I put the kids to sleep in our bedroom so that when we die, we die together. And no one would live to mourn the loss of another one.